For our first problem here, we have a system of equations, and the problem reads, A is a constant. For which of the following values of A does the system have no solution? So the rule for a system's equations with no solutions is that both X and Y will cancel. So X and Y cancel. And what you're left with isn't true. So this is part one. And answer isn't true. So what does it mean that the answer isn't true? That means you'll be left with something like two equals five or three equals nine, something that we just know isn't true. So let's get into this problem. We got our system of equations and we want to make both the X and Y cancel. So right now we got a Y and a 2Y, so we should make this one 2Y to line up with that. So if we multiply everything here by 2, we get negative 6X plus 2Y equals 12, and the bottom would remain the same, we get AX plus 2Y equals 4. So to cancel, we're going to start subtracting everything, 12 minus 4, we would get 8, 2Y minus 2Y. That would just cancel, so that'd be zero. And negative six and A. So we want A to cancel, so this would be negative six as well. Because negative six minus negative six would be zero. So for A, A would equal negative six, and that would be our answer. But let's look more at this. So when they both cancel, we're left with zero equals eight. And we see that this doesn't make sense. When both variables cancel and you're left with something that isn't true, we know there's no solution. So again, A equals negative six because they both cancel and we're left with something that isn't true. So let's try another problem with this. So in this one we have some equations and it says in the equation above, A is a constant. If no value of X satisfies the equation, what is the value of A? So it says no value of X satisfied, meaning there is no solution. So I would start by just distributing these numbers here. So we have 2ax minus 15 equals 3x plus 15 plus 5x minus 5. Combine some like terms, 3x and 5x, 8x, 15 and minus 5, 10 equals 2ax minus 15. So if we stop here, we see we got an X and a number, X and a number, and the numbers don't equal each other. So now all we have to do is make the X's cancel each other out. So we got an 8X here, 2 8X here. So A would have to be four. Because if we got four, it'd be four times two is eight, and we get eight X and eight X they'd cancel. So if we look at that some more, we have eight X, uh, sorry, minus, do a big minus sign. 15 equals 8x plus 10. If you try to subtract an 8x from either side, it would just cancel, and you'd be left with 15, or sorry, minus 15 equals 10. We know that's not true, so we cancel the variable, and what we're left with isn't true, so a equals 4. C is going to be our solution. Now we're going to move on to a slightly different problem. We got an equation here, but this time it says if the equation has infinitely many solutions. And this is a similar scenario. So in this one, the X has to cancel. So you wanna get rid of the X, and if there's multiple, if it's a system of equations, you would cancel both of them. But the second part here is that the solution does make sense. Does make sense. What that means is you're gonna see something like one equals one, 5 equals 5, you're just going to be left with something that is always true. So 1 equals 1, 5 equals 5, we just know those are true. So let's get into this one. So I would start off by just distributing the A to this parentheses here, so we get AX plus AB equals 4X plus 10. So we know we want to have the same thing on both sides because we want the X to cancel. So we would need a four here. And then we want it to both have tens on both sides. 
So right off the bat, we know a is going to be 4, so we could cancel those out. And then we have plus 4b equals 4x plus 10. And then we have to see what value of b makes 4b 10. So do 4b equals 10, and we get b equals 2.5. So 2.5 would be our solution. So let's look at that. If we plug those in, we would get 4x plus 2.5 times 4 is just 10 equals 4x plus 10. So with this and with um, equations that have infinite solutions, you have the same thing on both sides. That's because you would cancel the x's and we're left with something that's always true. 10 equals 10. Now let's move on to another problem. And this one I wrote some out some things out just to save us some time. So the equation above is true for all x, so that means infinite solution, where a and b are constants. What is the value of a, b? So for this one, I already distributed um, all the numbers here and just expanded out the left side. And I got the right side down here. So this one, we know that both sides have to be the same and that the variables have to cancel out. And this one's a bit tougher. But let's look at the problem. It says, what is the value of a, b? That'll give us a hint. And we got a, b here, and it's an x squared. So that means we can set up all the x squareds on this side to equal all the x squareds on this side, because we know they would cancel out. So we got the minus a, b, x squared here, and a 15 x squared. And on this other side, we have a minus nine x squared. So if we set up our equation, setting them equal, because we know they would be equal, so they would cancel out, you get 15x squared minus abx squared equals negative 9x squared. They all have an x squared term, so I can cancel that out. And then if we move some things around, subtract 15 from both sides, we get negative ab equals minus 24. And because they're both negative, I'd make them positive, get ab equals 24 and our solution would be C. I'll go over this one again because it's a little more complicated. So first I just distributed this, expanded it out, and with equations that have infinite solutions or all real numbers as solutions, we know the variables are gonna cancel out. And because we're looking for AB, I found the term with AB, that's the X squared. So I know the X squareds are gonna cancel out on both sides. So I set the X squared term on the left side, or in this case the upper side, equal to the one on the right side, or the bottom side here, because I know they would be equal and they would cancel out. And once I solve for AB, I got 24.